from the diaspora channel a lover of africa if you love africa as well and you would love to visit one day or to relocate to africa there is a course out there for you and this course is my first trip to africa a course well put together by a seasoned traveler kellen cash coleman this course is designed to prepare you to travel better, which will save you both time and money. And the great news is this course costs only $20, guys. It can't get any better. Go right now and enroll to this course at www.diversifygame.com. Don't miss out. All right, brothers and sisters, we're here again at Lake Kivu. And right now, I'm going to do a quick interview with Mr. Scott. And so, Mr. Scott, tell us about your trip here to Rwanda. What did you think so far? Okay, so uh, it's, it's been really enjoyable. And um, I just want to give a little insight. Uh, from my landing here till now so I've been here about a week and a couple of days so when I first landed uh, it was at night and um, I had some apprehensions I mean when I went through the airport and did all that everything was okay but you know I got to the room and you start thinking your mind starts swimming but um, it took a couple of days for me to transition and it hit me when I started viewing myself as a resident instead of a tourist. And then I knew I loved the place and that I could actually live here. And um, the people are very friendly. And that's not to say I don't want to put any uh, misconceptions out there. It's not that everybody speaks, but everybody's open to speaking and they're polite. Uh, Ty and his wife have been very hospitable uh, in helping us in this project, process and the transition. And uh, I've really enjoyed myself thus far. And if you are a brother and sister from the States, you shouldn't feel any apprehension about coming here. Uh, I'm doing this to give some insight because this insight is for people who are on the fence, not people who have made up their mind that they're not coming here. So this is for those who are on the fence. Why should you come? Uh, turn on your news and watch one of our brothers and sisters being innocently killed and you answer that question for yourself. Um, but it's peaceful here. You feel freedom. I see little kids of all ages walking around, walking miles to school without any fear of being snatched, kidnapped, or anything like that. And it's, uh, I see black excellence, and uh, it's just a humbling, humbling experience. And um, also I'm looking to uh, do a YouTube, start a YouTube channel. Uh, me and somebody that is open to discussing issues that are plague in America and our brothers and sisters over there so we can sit down and have a dialogue and uh, if you're interested my email is d blackman d l a c k m a n 77 at yahoo shoot me an email and uh, we'll see if we can link up and make it happen 
Is that all lowercase letters? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so y'all heard Mr. Scott, if y'all want to talk about... Uh, social issues and okay. things that are plaguing our people in the states. Okay. Political, economic. Uh, we can sit down and do our channel, do some videos and get stuff off of our mind and uh, just get it out there. All right, so y'all heard that, so contact Mr. Scott at theblackman77 at yahoo.com. Yes. I'm also going to put that email address in the description box. So right now his children are out here playing in Lake Kivu. Let me take you over here for just a second so you, that you can see how peaceful and quiet it is here. They over there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. They're out here relaxing, playing, being themselves. They're not worried about anybody giving them a hard time, anybody coming up and questioning them. It's very so, uh, serene, peaceful, and quiet here. And this is why a lot of people are coming here because of the peacefulness, the safety, the quiet. So if you're interested, contact Mr. Scott. Once again, what's that email? TheBlackMan77 at Yahoo.com and uh, you know if you are interested in coming over here and you, uh, of course you don't have any uh, lineage over here but you can get started reference point would be to reach out to Ty he can help facilitate uh, some things once you get here and he's not your travel agent so he's not going to book your ticket for you but once you get here he'll uh, help you with all the necessities that you need and uh, to get going and feel comfortable all right thank you mr scott so please contact him and y'all can hopefully work together unite and come up with some action plans that y'all can put in place here as well as back in the states so once again Thank you, Mr. Scott. Thank you. All right, brothers and sisters, we're back with Mr. Scott. He wants to add on to the first conversation we had, so go ahead, Mr. Scott. I think I might have left this out. Um, I just wanted to do a real quick piece on my experience of seeing people of other ethnic groups here, specifically of European descent. Um, it's not a lot it's compared to our people. It's uh, like throwing a handful of rocks in the ocean. So it's probably 100,000 to one. But my point in saying that to y'all is this. They are living here carefree and comfortable while uh, my brothers and sisters in the states or from the states are probably apprehensive or scared to come over here and I'm telling you, don't feel that way. You're more than welcome and uh, you'll know that as soon as you get here and start getting around town, you'll feel very, you'll feel the love. So don't, don't think twice about coming because they are over here and uh, we should be too. That's all I wanted to say. Thank uh, you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Scott. But I do have a quick question sure. for you. Um, even though they're over here, you still say that you would prefer or you, you could see yourself living over here. Me? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's not a lot. It, it, you got to keep it in context. Yes. That's why I said it's like throwing some sand in the uh, lake. Yeah, show you the lake. Lake Kivu. You, you'll see some, but 
not compared to us. They, they're the minority here, and for the most part, they uh, stay in their own lane. And they don't. It's not like in the states where they feel like they run it. Okay. So, you definitely would recommend this to your friends and family. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Mr. Scott. All right. Thank you, sir. We live in such